Okay. Now, I'm sure somebody's done this before. I'm absolutely sure. But I got playing with a 555 timer. And I came across it. And there's probably a better way to do it. But I found that this works and it's extremely minimal. The strange thing on that diagram is that pin 2 is tied over to pin 6. Okay. And everywhere you see like this, it's just coming to ground. So there's connection to ground there. Connection to ground there. Pin 1 is tied to ground there. So basically what happens is, is the light dependent resistor which is right there it detects the light and uh, makes all the difference that's a light dependent resistor right there and then you've got your little relay over there which then will connect this which is your load and you don't have to use your relay if you put instead in this here see we've got pin 3 coming that's just a protection diode right there pin 3 coming across this relay coil okay that could also go through quite a large resistor to the base of a, of a FET and then you could trigger a FET with just with just voltage and then run your load through run your load through like your source down here and your drain up on your positive in your gate here or if you were going to use a transistor you could um, pass current to the base of the transistor have your emitter down here and your collector up top there but it's a real simple circuit and it does work really well it doesn't go back and forth doesn't fiddle fart Works really well. Just kicks that relay, no problem. I shut off the light in the bedroom. Boom, comes on. So here, are. simple little 555 dark detector. Very few components. It's just a just a 555 uh, LDR 10K pot, and that's it. Thanks for watching.